it is that time again to change out my everyday makeup basket. So we'll do a little shot my stash today. I wanna to start off talking about everything that I've been using lately, like what I have been reaching for the most. And then I'm gonna have a timestamp down below slash there's gonna be a chapter on the screen if you want to skip ahead. If you're just here to see the selection, uh, the second half of the video will go through my drawers and pick out the new products. Let me tell you what I've been using. So I kind of threw these on, I was gonna say my desk. This isn't a desk. I film in front of my dresser, but I normally start with the palettes, but let me let me surprise you. Let's start with blush. You know I'm a bubble girl. These are the super blushes from Persona. This is their powder blush formula. I'm such a bubble girl, but I think I'm entering an orange blush phase. And not that this even leans that orange, but this is the shade Georgia from Persona. It is more of your peach. And lately, I'm starting to think, wait a minute, I look a lot better in orange blush. And don't get me wrong, I will always love pink blush. I have such a soft spot for pink blush and red blush. But for probably the last year, I have really neglected peach shades when it comes to blush. I haven't been as into them. And lately, I'm like, wait, for my undertone and everything, I really think peach blush is my friend. So I've been using this one non-stop and funny enough i have about five million blushes in my collection and yet only like two of them are peach most of them are pink mauve reddish so i might leave this in honestly or i might i don't know we'll take a look we'll take a look in the drawers we'll figure it out together but I've been using Georgia so much. I actually feel bad whenever I mention these because do you guys remember when these were in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale? I mentioned it in my recommendations video. I was like, you gotta get these, they're the best thing in the sale. I, I stand by that. But they sold out at like midnight or something like that. They sold out almost immediately after going live on the website. And every time I mention them, my comment section is like, I tried to get them, but they were sold out. I know, I get it though, I get it. I get why they're so popular. Okay, the foundation, well base, base product that I threw in was this one from Tarte, it's the Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. I didn't end up using this one too much. I will say in this like last rotation, like this last span of time with this makeup basket, my skin is just, she's on her worst behavior. Super dry, I'm definitely really acne prone all the time, so I've been getting some breakouts lately, but the dryness, I am starting to combat it because I really just took a pretty long break from any actives for a while there and I'm starting to get better, but there was a long time throughout the last few weeks that I was just so peely that I was really, really particular about the foundations that I could and could not use. And this one wasn't necessarily vibing with what's going on with my skin. I find this and honestly most like tinted moisturizers you, you almost need, your skin needs to be in a good place already to for this product to really shine. It's like it's not doing that much. So this wasn't necessarily enough for me. So what I was actually reaching for that my skin was loving and I'm actually wearing today looks similar. It's also from Tarte, but it's a different product. This is their Shape Tape Cloud Coverage. I don't know why this isn't more popular. It's such a good product. It has SPF 15 in it, which is nice. Obviously, I wear a regular sunscreen and then I have, have this on top, but I really like when my sunscreen... When, what am I saying? When my foundation has sunscreen, like extra layers, yes please, but did I miss a spot? At least this will give me a little bump of coverage in addition to what I'm already wearing. My skin really loves this stuff. I apply it with a sponge. I did a pretty light layer today, but you could build up for a bit more coverage. It's glowy. I don't know how it's translating on camera. In general, products that look really beautiful in person don't always translate on camera and vice versa, which I've, I've talked about. Uh, a lot in videos in the past, but even just a little tangent, I think that's something to always be mindful of when you're watching any type of reviews. Like, especially if you're seeing someone applying like a lot of makeup and it's looking beautiful on camera and then you're applying a lot of makeup and you're like, this doesn't look good in person, it's because it's in person. Like neither did the other thing. Like there is makeup that's better for photography and there's makeup that's better in real life. This I think looks so beautiful in real life. I don't know if it's translating on camera because the coverage is a bit more light, it's a bit more dewy, but I love this. My skin is really liking this right now. It's one of the few foundations that's sitting well over a lot of these dry areas I'm having. So even though this wasn't initially a selection, I pulled it into the basket and I'll probably put it back in. Like this is one of my favorite foundations. And like I said, it's underrated, nobody talks about it. I've still been using this flower concealer. You guys are probably like, Kelly, enough already, but I love it. 
this will definitely be I'm, I'm like way ahead of myself here, but this is definitely going to be in my 2023 drugstore favorites of the year. It's such a good concealer. I have the shade Vanilla. It's a nice shade match for me. It's definitely more like warm yellow though, so keep that in mind depending on your undertone, but I really do love this product. I enjoyed that. I will honestly probably keep that in my makeup basket. I don't have too many concealers open at the moment, so I feel like I'm usually using either that or the one from LYS, which those are two of my favorite formulas in general, but... I don't have too many concealers at the moment, which is a good thing. This is so beautiful. This is from REM. Every time I say this, you guys roast my, my pronunciation of it. Miss Uranus, Miss Uranus. They're, um, well, it's a highlight, but I wear it like a blush topper. And I'm wearing it today. I feel like head on, you can't necessarily see it, but then when I turn my head, you're like, oh, cute. Like it's subtle. The thing about these highlights, if you want a blingy over the top pigment glow. This might not be the formula for you because it's almost a little bit more sheer, but that's why I like it because it doesn't look heavy on the cheeks. It's just that dusting of glow. And I think the name of this, even calling it like the highlighter topper is pretty accurate in my opinion because it's just that light layer of glow on top. Oh my gosh, if you have a, I was gonna say a cat, but if you have a pet, if you have a pet, you probably get this. Especially a cat though, because cats have such personalities. Tilly, when I film, I, I normally close the door. When I started filming, she was in here and she wanted to leave. So I go, I open the door, let her out. She's been out for like a minute and now she wants to come back in. So now she's back to scratching at the door and I'm like, okay, I just know the second I open the door and she's in here for like three minutes, she's gonna be like, okay, well now I actually want to leave again. Okay, when it comes to palettes, I, I will talk about the ones that I had in rotation, but honestly, I have not been super palette focused lately, which we'll get into, but let me tell you what's on my eyes today. Today I'm wearing Lilac You a lot from ColourPop. This look is pretty subtle. I don't know that it's necessarily screaming purple in your face, but that was kind of what I was going for. So if you own this palette, here's what I have on. First, I have Imagine That in the crease, and then for a, a subtle bit of like eyeshadow, I, or not eyeshadow, <laughs> eyeliner, I used the shade Filtered, kind of just along the lash line. And then I tapped Cloud and Make Me over the lid. I didn't really swipe, I didn't build up the pigment. I just kind of tapped to get a little bit of sparkle. It's this subtle sparkly purple look. I like it, it's kind of, this is the way I like to do color where it's a bit of a wash. It's not screaming purple, but like you look, you're like, oh, cool purple. And I think purples in general, if you have brown or green eyes, they really make them pop. I also love purples on blue eyes, but I think brown and green were made to wear purple. I also had Natasha Denona Mini Zendo in. This is one of my favorite palettes in general. I actually feel like it fits the vibe of like the flowers, the colors. I love this palette. I did use this, but again, I didn't do too many eyeshadow palette looks. I also had this quad from Charlotte Tilbury in. This is the Pillow Talk quad. And I do feel like I did a good amount of looks actually with Wild Greens from Urban Decay. I was reaching in this often just for some neutral shades, but you also saw me do a green look on camera in a Get Ready With Me. I also reached into these greens a bit. However, I have just been so team like minimal eyeshadow lately. I just posted a one and done eyeshadow video last week where I talked about my favorite, well, actually two weeks ago maybe by the time we're seeing this, but where I talked about my favorite one and done shadows because that's kind of been my vibe. Even like today, I'm not wearing that much mascara. And funny enough, I feel like I've been really like drawing back in on how much eyeshadow and even mascara and eyeliner I'm wearing. And some days I like doing just foundation and like a base with nothing on the eye. Like there's something so pretty about just like the simplicity of nothing on the eye. And don't get me wrong, I still love all my palettes and I still do reach for them, but it just hasn't been my emphasis lately. I've been going a lot more subtle on the eyes. And for me, a lot of the like fun in the makeup application for me has been the skin, has been base, even different like lip combos with multiple shades of lip liner or layering like a glowy product over the blush. Just like focusing on the skin which is interesting too because maybe three years ago my makeup routine was the opposite like the base products like doing the foundation concealer all that stuff for me those were just the steps i had to do to get to the eyeshadow and at the time for me the eyeshadow was the fun part 
And now it's the opposite. Like I really love doing the base and then I get to the eyes and I'm like, oh, you know, I don't want to do too much. Maybe I'll throw on some mascara. And I still, don't get me wrong, like I still love the whole creative process of makeup. But the part that's been most exciting to me has not been eyes lately. This rotation, I was really focused on like spring themed products. That was why I went with the lilac palette. That was why I went with a palette that had some of those like more pastel greens to it. But this time around, this basket is going to lead us into like the introduction to summer, though it does not feel like summer right now. When I'm filming this, it's been just like nonstop rain, gloomy, but I do feel like I need that summer energy to just keep my spirits up. I'm excited to pick out these products with that season in mind. And like I said, I kind of want to focus on some more of those warm tones, like more of my peachy blushes, kind of see, explore what I have in that category. So let's jump into the selection now. So starting off in this drawer, I am going to keep the Tarte foundation in. I've just really been liking this. I also appreciate that it has a little bit of additional sunscreen on top of my everyday sunscreen. I feel like the, the shade of this is my perfect match. I have 20B light beige. So I'm gonna keep this. I think also, you know, feeling the summery vibes I mentioned, I wanna put this in from Flower Beauty. This is their Get Real Serum Foundation. I just shook it up a bit because it can kind of separate. I feel like you definitely wanna shake it before using it, but I have the shade Warm Beige L4. I love this. It's very light coverage. It's like super sheer. The texture of this is kind of almost like water. Like it's incredibly thin, but it's so dewy and natural on the skin. It doesn't have like the longest wear time, but I mean, it's a skin tint, so I don't really expect it to, but let me tell you, it makes your skin look like you're not wearing makeup, but you're just so healthy and radiant. Okay, for concealer, I will give you a little spoiler. I did just order the new Natasha Denona concealer, which we'll see if I like that or not. I'm a little bit, um, I'm interested to try it out. We'll say that, but for now let me take this one from nyx actually i haven't used this in a bit it's the bear with me concealer and you can see i've used a good amount of this it'd be nice to use it up not that that's going to happen in this rotation because i still have a good amount to go but i do enjoy this one i have mine in the shade vanilla which is actually a perfect shade match for me so we'll throw this in i think that's everything i'm going to grab from the drawer for now i mean i do have some other primers and whatnot that i might reach into periodically but I'm gonna stick with just these items, at least for now. All right, now we're into the cream products drawer. Like I said, I'm wanting to go for some peach things. So I'm going to take this from Milani. This is their Luminoso Liquid Blush. Now here's the thing. This is like barely a blush, like you'll see this tone. For a lot of people, this would be a highlight. And even for myself on my pale skin, this is almost a highlight but I'm thinking this could be a really beautiful mixture. Like if I take this and I want some of the glow, but I could mix it with another blush. And tone wise, I'm actually thinking this one from Kaja. This is their Whipped Dreams blush in the shade number two. Let me swatch it next to the Milani for you. It's like a nude, you know, it's a, a peachy nude. And this is pretty matte, but it's a really comfortable satin matte it definitely doesn't look dry but i'm thinking with these two together i could get that really beautiful warm glowy cheek okay i'm getting really excited i feel like that combo is going to be beautiful do i want to go with the cream bronzer right now i'm not sure you know what i haven't put in in a while actually is this i haven't used this in a bit it's the charlotte tilbury contour wand i have the fair to medium one Honestly, this isn't my favorite product ever. I know it's super hyped up. I don't necessarily feel like it's worth some of that hype, but I do own it and I definitely want to use it before it goes bad, especially because it is a liquid product. The expiration is not, you know, they don't last as long. So let me put this in and we can get some use out of this one. Okay, I have a feeling I will just periodically be grabbing into some of these cream individual eyeshadows throughout the next couple of weeks. I'm not gonna necessarily select one to put in, but I'm sure I will grab for them every once in a while. Um, you saw most of these actually, well not most, but my favorites in my best one and done eyeshadows video recently. So you know, that's been my jam lately, but that's gonna be everything for this drawer. The powder drawer is looking a bit rough these days with all the blush or the brush spillover. These are brushes that I've like recently washed and then threw in here um, just cause I'm focusing on other brushes at the moment, but Let's pick a powder. Isn't this kind of nuts? Like, why do I have this many powders? Let's be real. I will say they're a mixture of just face powders and then foundation powders or powder foundations. I've been so focused on the Sigma one lately. It's been my most used for a while, but I did want to give that one a break. So I put that back and I'm thinking let's grab one that's pressed and one that's loose. So for a pressed option, I'm going to take this one from Bite. 
Obviously, Bite is not a brand anymore, so this no longer exists. This is their Changemaker powder. If you remember, I already fully panned and used up their Changemaker in the shade 2, but this is the shade 1. Um, well, light one. I really do love this formula and I feel like honestly these days light one is a better shade for me anyways. Light two is better when I was self tanning, but I don't really do that that much anymore. So light one is actually a pretty spot on shade. Okay, for a loose powder, I don't think I've used this in a while. This is from Urban Decay. It's looking a little powdery. <laughs> this is called the All Nighter Powder. This is the loose one. They also have a pressed version, but this is in the translucent shade. And I do really enjoy this formula. I feel like it's nice to have a pressed powder and a loose powder in rotation because I use them slightly differently. So we'll put this in also. Okay, blush bronzer highlight. I have finally put back the Fenty bronzer, but we all know it will not stay back for long. I'm sure after like a day or two, I will grab it and put it back in the drawer, but I'm gonna try to leave it out for now. And you know what I haven't used in a long time? This one. Let's grab this from the balm. Do you remember when this was like such a hyped up product? This is their take home the bronze bronzer. You guys remember when this was just everywhere? So I have mine in the lightest shade, which is called Oliver. I use this a little bit more like a contour just because it is a bit more cool toned, but I also think it works well as a bronzer. So I'll put this in. Okay, this is from Ciate London. And I've only swatched it, but I want to try it out. It's their Bamboo Bronzer in the shade Palm Island. Now I'm a little worried because it's incredibly warm. Like, let me show you next to my Fenty. So I have Fenty in the shade In the Sun, and you can see the warmth from the Ciate one almost makes the Fenty one look like a contour shade. And I will say, I do think the Fenty one is more cool toned than most, but I'm a little curious about the Ciate one. So we'll see, I wanna play with it. Okay, for blush, I already said I was going to put Georgia in, so we're gonna go ahead and add this one. But I'm thinking, I'm gonna take this shade, which is called Playtime. This is from Iconic London, and I talked about this actually in my best one and done shadows video. This is a multi-use product that you can use on your cheeks or on your eyes or really anywhere. It's like this really, it's pretty shimmery for a blush, I will say, but it's the most like gorgeous, almost duochrome pinky shade. I feel like this reminds me of like what I call the Charlotte Tilbury look or like the Pillow Talk look, like the pink, the glow. So I think this will be such a beautiful blush to have in. I'm trying to decide if I want to do an additional blush, but I'm kind of telling myself like, Kelly, that's a lot. You've already have the two liquids, two powders. So I'm going to stop for now, but there is a chance throughout the rotation I might come grab something. Okay, for a highlight, let's do Miss Mercury from REM. This is Ariana Grande's brand. This is one of my favorite highlights. It's a little bit more sheer. And that's gonna be it from this drawer. Okay, I just reorganized the lip drawer a bit today. I feel like I have never found the perfect storage solution, so I feel like I'm constantly reorganizing it, but the route I went today, the basket is full of lip stains. Right here, I have tinted lip balms. In these three little boxes, I have bullet lipsticks and then the rest is, they're all gloss with a couple of liquid lipsticks mixed in, but I don't own very many liquid lipsticks. These have like glosses, lip oils, all that good stuff. So let me grab a lip stain, of course, because I love a lip stain. This is the Ulta Beauty Weightless Water Stain. This is one of my favorite formulas. It's a beautiful red. Let me also take this. This is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's a little tiny baby pillow talk, but it is pillow talk. There is a dupe from this from Milani. It's the shade Secret, which I have right here. It's identical, but I think this is really pretty. And I think especially with this blush, if I want to do a really pinky Charlotte Tilbury inspired look, like, you know, the Charlotte Tilbury, the Charlotte Tilbury makeup look that I envision, I think that'll be perfect for it. Do I want to grab more of like a true nude? You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's take this one again, Becca, not a brand anymore. Or no, actually earlier I was talking about Bite. I guess I have a few brands in here that are no longer in business anymore, but this is Becca. This is one of their bullet lipsticks in the shade Dune. I think this is such a pretty nude and I love pairing it with kind of like a brick colored lip liner. I feel like it gives the most beautiful 90s look. I also need to grab a gloss because these days I feel like 90% of the time my look is mostly lip liner and then just a lip gloss thrown over top. So I'm gonna go with Honey from Persona. It's like a beautiful brown. Okay, let's pick palettes. I actually feel like I had these in kind of recently, but 
I still want to use them all. I'm excited. So first of all, the identity palette. I just, I cannot stay away from this one for too long. I will have it in rotation, take it out, and then I put it back in normally pretty shortly after. I also want to do the Enchanted Mini. If you remember when I did my, my favorite set with Sigma last year, this was the palette I put in. It's the mini version of my favorite palette from them, which is the full size Enchanted. So I want to play with this one. But then also in that kind of purpley mauve color family, I want to add Making Mauves from ColourPop. I saw someone wearing the most beautiful, like subtle purpley mauve makeup look the other day and instantly I was like, okay, I need to put this palette in. And I feel like between these two, there could be some really beautiful combinations. Also, even for these, for like some neutrals with a twist. So I'm excited about all of these. Those are the new products. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.